All right. You all got some uh, some snacks, some water, whatever you may need. Uh, but short little break as we are ready to go with Heat Wave PC Online Multi Blood Tapping in the Tournament. That's right, PS4 just ended. We're hopping over to PC to uh, get things going on here. Twitch.tv slash plus frames GG. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's My name is Kraken Atkins. Joined by Paul Lay. Twitch.tv slash plus frames GG. We have you all covered. Ready for another round of uh, Multi Blood Tapping in Action here. That's right, that's right. Yeah, I hope you guys got some snacks because I definitely need some water. Um, but yeah, we're gonna get started here with Rat Silk versus Phantom. Once I get out of the spot. And once you get out of that spot. Oh, yeah, 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 you know. All right. Wait, I just switched the names and now they switched again. Dude, I'm getting mixed. <laughs> Whoa, Wrath Silk is a CL player? That's not what I remember. Hey, yo, let's go. <laughs> no bias, no bias. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. Alright, here we go. First match heat made PC, Wrath Silk versus Phantom. Phantom with the Shiki. Now, there's like we were just memeing about this. There's like three people named Phantom in the server. <laughs> and I think a lot of them have played the heat wave. So I cannot tell you if this is a Phantom that's played here before or not. Uh, but Wrath Silk we should not before. I think they usually play Hisui. Locked in with the CL this time around. But we're just not getting to see a lot of it come to fruition as Phantom is just completely on fire at the moment. And uh, starting us out with a perfect here. Okay. Oh, not skipping a beat. Here we go. Yeah. Not like this, man. It's... And look, I believe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. Shiki. Yeah, that's such a good move to, to just skip neutral with. Nice moon drive to block that, but got open up right afterwards. Rat Silk. In a word of trouble. Oh Tricky. my gosh. Yeah, faked out the overhead. Just ended up going with the 2A instead. Rat Silk. Oh my gosh, just caught on the air tech. Taking as it as possible and not getting rewarded for it. Throws it to the corner. Gets the command throw. This is a good way to get the party started. You know, he activates. Try to get some health back. Okay. Uh. Oh my gosh, nice reaction. It's going to be able to get the punish as well. Just did not have the proper combo to really seal the deal there against Phantom. Wrath Silk. Oh my gosh, trying to make it happen has had so many situations where it looked like it could be the end of the game, but there it is, another one of those trusty throws. Y'all looking like a grappler right now. Good stuff. Rat Silk was able to put it all together right at the end. Getting a good hit here. I think this is the first combo CL has done. Ah, it's fine. Nice shot her out. All right, Fatal cut off the shield B, but unfortunately did not get the proper reach off of that uh, 4C command normal with CL. Rat Silk just trying to still get the pieces together. These drops are really coming back to bite them, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, the whiff. Yeah, you got to do something. Off for the moon drive just to make themselves safe. Oh, man, he's going trying to go for that uh, 2B anti-air. Hasn't completely worked out for him yet. Stuck in the corner. Moon drive for more. <laughs> oh, the... Sh Heat wasn't punished. Ah, uh, but we got armor on that. We're still alive. Rat Silk had a chance to get a combo, doesn't get it. But the Heat getting all our life back goes straight into Arc. Man, that was a pivotal drop there from Phantom. You saw that Phantom was basically just a hit away on that combo from killing Rat Silk. Rat Silk was able to get the entirety of that Heat activation. And look, they're basically going to be in a two touch scenario rather than a one touch scenario from previous. This can still go either way. Phantom with the knockdown, though, the tick throw setup. We'll be able to get it. And, uh, take game one, but, uh, man. Oh, I don't have rematch set. That's fine. We'll fix that later. 
Yeah. But yeah, just a like a weird uh, kind of exchange going on there of like Rasto not being able to seal the dawn those combos and like Phantom kind of running away with it. Uh, a little bit of a pause here. Hmm. Maybe Wrath Silk feeling something off because of all those drop combos. It was a little bit. It was a lot of drops there actually. <clears throat> All right, looks like we're going back in. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it was drops on both sides. There were definitely like those Indian sequences Phantom wasn't able to close out as soon as they could, so. <laughs> That's right. Matching glasses. <laughs> CL, what's going on? Oh my gosh. Opened up. Field counter. Not the way you want to start as a defender, but definitely the way you want to start as the Shiki. Knock out to the corner, forcing the DP with. He's carrying that momentum for even longer now. Is this going to be a three touch game? Say it in so. There we go. Finally the hit. Rat Silk. Completely the combo. Moon Drive actually gives more hit stun, so it makes it a little bit easier. Get some. Pops the burst. Yeah, rightfully so. Oh, but that is gonna oh. be a punish. Yeah. Ooh. Oh man. And what's to do with that cheeky charge? See again? Do you have to stand shield it or? Yeah, you have to stand shield it. I see. Basically, went for the empty low into, are you ready to stand shield this? A very quick succession of defensive blocking. The Phantom, yeah, still on it. Oh, the IED opening Wrath Silk up. Oh my gosh, behind nice. the Just couldn't confirm off the JB, unfortunately. Mmm, okay, yeah, the 2BC Moon Drive, but again, not able to get those combos. This could be big, though! Into the corner we go! Black the combo, all good. Oh, went for a big oh. there, couldn't get it, but at least gets the Blood Heat. Oh my gosh! You've messed up, right. and now you get to find out, Shiki Toto! <laughs> Matching glasses! <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he dead? Eliezer, is he, he might be oh, dead. Oh my. He actually died. Yeah. Should've known, man. I thought he was still alive. Nah, bro, last socks are crazy. We don't see them very often, so we forget just how much damage they do. But no, it, it do be over half your health, like. <laughs> Insane. The Phantom, not dissuaded. Going in, the low again. Ah, charge C. Great button. Man, even with the drop, he's just ready to chase. Yeah, that's the type of mindset you have to have, you know. Don't let up on the pressure. Keep it going regardless. Pick up the pieces. The shield B. Rat Silk. That's gonna be a knockdown. What do we have on the Okie Dokes? The side slot gets the throw. Oh, try to make out of shield. Nothing. Or a uh, heat drive activation. The moon? Oh my gosh. Rat needs to be so careful. We'll find the shield BC. And Rat staying in this. Of that last arc, really able to bring stuff back together and tie it up 1 1 between Wrath and Phantom. Like, I think, um, that's counter poking has definitely been uh, a big asset of this matchup, but, um, uh, all in all, um, kind of even. But a couple of opportunities that have been dropped there from, uh, Phantom. And I'm getting a ping. Hold on. I, I'm a, <laughs> I'm afraid to click on Discord because I don't I'm not sure if the alt tab problem is fixed. But I see uh okay. Let me see. Wait, that's that's Frankie.
What's, fr right, what's Frankie game doing? Three. This matchup has been very all over the place. It's really hard to call. Yes. Wrap Silk. Getting the first hit. Man, Phantom so good with the chase. Really good confirm. Ah, yes. Wake up, Bunny. That was supposed to be. What a backdash right on time. Yeah, that's Phantom. pretty clutch there from Phantom. Oh, he's actually going for the air reset stuff. I feel like he's he's actually not a drop combo, but something he's looking for. Yeah, that was good utilization of the moon drive triple jump there from Ratsil to just kind of really be elusive of when they were going to land. Caught Phantom off guard and was able to get that round. Going to be a, a round away from taking the entirety of this game. A good uh, solid rally here from Ratsil. Oh my gosh, that double shield. This time able to get the BC, not the full follow up. Catches the back dash with the throw. Oh my god, yeah, just scoop out of the air. You need to be so careful here. Again, the back dash spends the meter for the arc. Nana, yeah, install. Catches with the rising jump A. Oh, baits the DP. Good stuff, Phantom. I think this is enough. Bends the meter to close it out. Yes. All right. Last game, last round. Phantom starting off again. Get in the corner, the pressure. No low this time. Just trying to bait a DP, I think, there. Phantom. Gonna be in a mid screen mix up here. Whoa! <laughs> that is the last thing I expected there, but a quality decision there from Ratsil getting the knockdown. Yeah, heat activation. Trying to keep this pressure going, but just the reversal DP there from Phantom. Shield A. Wow, pickup! That was great! That actually could have been arc drive if he wanted, but we'll take that damage. Need this to save. I think this is gonna be it. It's enough, yeah. Wow. Rat Silk. It was a shaky start in the beginning, but brought it back every round after that. The Phantom, man, his pressure was insane. The chase down and everything. That was a good match. That's a good starting match. The Rat Silk taking it 2 1 over Phantom here. Okay. So what's the deal with the... Uh, Frankie left the server or what happened? <laughs> oh wait, he's right there. Is he in the PC matchmaking? He's not. Okay, he never checked in. We will, we will get this together. Yeah. All right, let me, let me queue up the next, uh, she, she and Swift. Shishi and Swift, I think both are newcomers for um, Heatwave. But it looks like Shishi is a coma player. Uh oh. I'm just waiting for Swift here. Okay, we have figured that out. Uh, let me mark round two stream matches just in case. I'll 
So, getting some questions here. Give me a sec. Yeah, so Shishi's on the combo. Swift was actually someone that was signed up for a previous heat wave, but had the DQ right at the last minute. But said that they would definitely come by for the next one that we hosted. So glad to see that they honored that. Excited to see what they're going to be bringing to the table here. And it looks like they are playing Hisui. Ah, where's Lan when we need him? We would love this. This is the first Hisui we've seen all day. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, we know that a couple of them are in the bracket. AG Frankie also having the access at Hisui and uh oh, I might be getting confused. Does B Boy Sonic X? Oh, B Boy Sonic. Yeah, yeah, he does. That's right. Did you ever just try to auto pass and wondering why your character's not moving and you realize you're not tapping to that screen? <laughs> yeah, I just did that too. <laughs> I actually just. Oh, I see. oh, oh <laughs> what's happening? PC Melty. Oh no! I'm like, oh, I'm the idiot. I see. <laughs> it happens. It's just so easy to see it right there, but not be out tapped in. Messed up. Crazy. So yeah, this this bracket is stacked with a bunch of Hisui players. Swift starting us out. Oh, she she. Oh, okay. Yeah. Unfortunate drop at the end of that combo, but still a uh, a statement has been made with that two C starter. Wow. Right. Not letting it happen. No free armor through. Bruh. What? <laughs> Is this Yun? Dive kicks? Might be. Oh my gosh. The fatal counter as well. Unfortunately, Shishi not having the end around these combos, but still trying to bring it together. Yeah, that should be it. The slum dunk. Shishi with the combo gonna be up taking game one and just having full control of everything. Swift trying to uh, figure out a way to navigate around it because it definitely has been caught off guard by quite a few options Shishi's brought to the table. The dive kicks, the uh, aggression, it's all coming up Shishi again. Yeah, but Swift here. Oh no, drops the combo. It's fine, we got a chair. Shield B, counter hit. Oh man, drops on both sides. The Shishi gets the hit. Ah, oh, drop there too. Man, a lot of slop here. Yeah. Oh, this time it's in Russian. Ooh! <laughs> that was a very tricky double overhead there from uh, Swift. Yeah, the timing was really delayed. Right. And Swift, able to take that round. A lot of back and forth, a lot of drops, but feeling like both players are kind of getting into their element. Ah, as I say that, of course, another drop combo. <laughs> she, she. Yeah, I guess the corner. Nice, catch the back dash. 2C. Oh my god. Ah, <laughs> catch. Attack. That should be it. Yeah, go into literally whatever you want. It would be the slam dunk and a game one there for Shishi. Um, yeah, I mean, we're seeing a little bit... Oh, I forgot to change the lobby back to rematch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But yeah, we're seeing, we're seeing a little bit of adaptation for Swift. So as far as they have, they were navigating around everything. But it's been definitely Shishi, like, control of uh, the match of just getting the rush down. Keep the matchup close, right? Swift has not been able to uh, threaten on, like, any type of um item tosses or even, like, uh, the 6C or anything like that the uh charge table or anything so um see how swift kind of navigates around that we could be seeing more of the moon skills come to play as just like a mid-screen check or something to deter shishi from getting the momentum started yeah so far swift is being able to get shishi to block oh man the buttons the swift getting the better of it 
Oh no, a drop combo into a punish. Ooh, okay. Yeah, cheat to escape the situation. Neither side go for anything too crazy though. Both commit to the shield. Alright. Swift got the shield PC. Gonna be catching a knockdown here. What do we have? Side to side. Commit to the 3C. Not getting punished though. Oh boy. Bruh. <laughs> Reversal heats off the moon drive. Oh yeah, we're plus. Super, super plus. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's, that was one thing I was wondering if we were going to see from Swift outside the mid-screen check just going for the uh, 3 PC. Moon drive does get the multi-stab and was uh, quite a big uh, tone changer for that match as Swift. Gets around on the board. Oh man, spent all of that. Still didn't get the hit. Got hit himself. Bruh. Oh, the delay. That was quite sick. Man, I forgot how disrespectful Koma combos are looking <laughs> yeah you know like he do be just slamming everybody down and just like not caring about it like <laughs> we're just yanking people like ragdolls yeah basically oh, oh my gosh nice. that was a really good low shield of the punish but not enough shishi able to close out that round Out of the air. Oh man. Dunk. No. Oh, that's that's clever. Like you think I'm gonna do the overhead again? Nah, just the low. Woo! Man, a free heat. Level three, I think should do it here. Oh, not quite. No, just went for the uh the level one, unfortunately. Uh, needing another hit, but able to find it. No arc drive needed. Shishi, just great control of that matchup all the way through to the end as they get the 2 0 victory. Gonna be moving on in winner's side. Yeah, just solid control with the coma, like all together, like um, really keeping Swift on under pressure. And once again, keeping that matchup really close where Kuma needs to be so that uh, Kuma doesn't need to struggle to get in from those mid screen or full screen territories. But um, yeah, solid set. Solid set. And uh, good to see uh, two new players. We love new faces around here at Heatwave, so. Okay, rematch limit two. Change room settings. There we go. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of the Koma players have been uh, either switching or not been coming through anymore. So it's cool to still see Koma around. And Hisui, always a pleasure to have more Hisui players here. I mean, gotta hold it down for Lon Lily. Yep, yep, getting some matches queued up here. Next will be Alyssa versus Run the Mix. Run the Mix we saw in the PS4 bracket. They have joined us for PC as well. But yeah, we're moving and grooving up into this uh, winter side round two. We hope you guys are appreciating Heatwave PS4 ending not too long ago. We're just uh, kind of getting our uh, self started here with the PC side of things. Exclamation point bracket was uh, put up there by the second worst player not too long ago. So be sure to check out the bracket and what's going on uh, with the PC happenings and uh, something else that's happening at Match Arena. That's a consistent kind of aspect of these Heatwave brackets from time to time, especially the $50 pop points provided by Plus Frames GG going to PS4 and PC, respectively. You're also able to donate if you'd like to. Direct donations are possible through those Match Arena links. And you can donate free money through the uh, sponsor quest through following uh, Plus Frames GG or myself or Paul. You can donate free money to the pot to make sure that those sponsor quests are used up. We greatly appreciate it. But uh, yeah, let me, you know, get off my soapbox, hog in the setup. Let's get uh, these... These people going on here. We got uh, Alyssa, who I think in game name is Pillow Princess, going up against uh, Run the Mix. Uh, 
with the Aoko that we saw from a PS4 earlier. Yes, yes. I love the, uh, the signature phrases that they do in lobby because I don't know what they're saying. <laughs> like, there, there, there's no English stuff. So I, have, I have no idea what they're saying. They can say the most disrespectful thing, and like I won't know it. Like, <laughs> I'm glad that uh, we don't have just straight Noel anymore because her signature phrase was going on forever. Yes. <laughs> Nice, start off with two two A combo. Nice quick IED overhead. Get the knockdown set up shop with the, the tree. Run the mix, not having it. You can't run the mix on me, I run the mix. What do you think this is? Oh wait, no no no, this is Pete! Run the mix is Miyako. <laughs> we established this. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> Pete is an Aoko player. Run the mix is Miyako. That's right. All right. Okay, maybe a little bit more that was left on that combo due to the triple jump nature of Aoko, but still able to get the run up throw. And uh, Run the Mix will be taking uh, round one. One thing I remember from Run the Mix's play style, right, was the utilization of the triple jumps and just the very, like, slowed down uh, play style that Run the Mix was able to implement, giving a lot of our competitors quite a bit of trouble. This time around, not really afraid to take the fight to uh, Alyssa. So just an interesting change of pace that we're seeing from Run the Mix. Hey, yo. Oh man, the jump shield's been working out. I feel like it's such a risky option, but oh, wait. Doesn't get the punish there. Alyssa in the corner. Run up throw, yeah, the fatal counter. Wake up, blood heat, okay. Yeah, Alyssa really trying to fish for any type of aggression from Run the Mix to threaten that last arc, but Run the Mix just saying, hey, no way, I'm good. Not trying to lose my entire health bar for trying to challenge. Oh my god, yeah, I got it! Yes! Yo, oh, this is sick! <laughs> you utilizing the orb right under Wake Up, bait out the. Oh my god. Yo, witnesses? It's not an aspect of the run mix gameplay from Aoka that we saw in the PS4 bracket, let me tell you. <laughs> not, on, no. not in the stream matches. <laughs> Definitely not. Pete was like, no, my name is Run the Mix. I'm going to start to run the mix. <laughs> and run the mix they did. That was very solid stuff. Just mixing up with those orbs. Yeah, I think all together they've been uh, playing really well. The 6BC full screen checks have been putting the stop to the Alyssa approach with Kohaku. And uh, a similar kind of divide that we saw from the Mystery Racer match previously, right? When your air game is getting stopped, you know, it's going to put more pressure on Kohaku to win the ground game. And you're going to have to make that work through your slashes and things. Like uh, your ground special is trying to, to cover space. But Alyssa doing a fantastic job of that thus far, you know, getting these two solid hits. I thought we were gonna go for corner positioning, unfortunately not. Actually finds their back against the wall as a result of it. Beam it's so fast. Man, that air shield again. Good stuff. Oh this uh oh, doesn't get the punish this time either. Not ready for it. Run the mix. Could have spent for a level three, but instead goes for the Okie okay there. Molotov cocktail gets Alyssa out of the corner. The double dash, a little too far. Oh yeah, charge! Oh. And that is like the day one gimmick that I still see hit on day two hundred or whatever we're on right now. <laughs> yeah, and what a setup from Alyssa, just setting up the cactus and then air shielding. Even if um, even if he was blocking the cactus, the airship would have been safe, so it is fine, but Red the Mix did the heat and got punished. Oh, um, <laughs> the Elko special! You just do uh, fireball and a fireball and a fireball. Why not? Full screen at 30 health, because I said so. Oh man, it's so fast. If you're holding, doing anything other than blocking after that, or jumping already, 
You're just gonna get hit. Oh my gosh, Abra team, run the mix, utilize those Aoko air options. The jumps, the dashes, and oh my god, yeah, just to wake up. Gauntlet Hades? Is that you? <laughs> <laughs> Very slow Gauntlet Hades. <laughs> Yo, yeah, Gauntlet Hades? Crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Get in the Oki. What's he gonna be? Oh, we're, tries to push out of the uh, the block stun. The air dash in. Not able to get a combo. It committed to the entire of that rapid beat, too. No punish, but. Oh, Run actually shoot it low. So much mileage off of that. <laughs> yeah. Alyssa had the right idea, but just shielded the wrong uh, low instead of shooting high. But yeah, that's a uh, 2-0. Run the mix. Good stuff. And Alyssa. Good showing for Kohaku. Not many, just straight up Kohaku players. Obviously, Mr. Racer is one of them, but uh, Alyssa being the second one. Yeah, and I feel like that's true. It just as the full fold of multi gameplay that I've been seeing, just solo Kohaku isn't too common of a character. It's mostly like uh, maids, and then like maybe you take a Kohaku centric approach with maids and use Hisui as an assist spot. That's um, even a common comp that I've been seeing in like a uh, Japan multi as of late, so. Um, but Broomfi can do it. Uh, see if there's uh, luck for Alyssa over in the loser side of the bracket. But a solid uh, display of skill there from Run the Mix is gonna be continuing on in this winners. As we're hopping over to the other side of the bracket now, we're gonna be having B-Boy, B Sonic X, and uh, Flame X one, two, three up on stream next. More solo baits. Yeah, coming right up. A lot more maids on the PC side of things this time around. Less arcs, more maids. That's right. This is where Usoro is uh, normally the only arc, and I think it's looking that way. Might be, honestly. <laughs> Uh, here we go. B Boy Sonic X definitely, I think, has at this point maybe attended every single piece of Heat Wave. Like, they've been uh, here constantly. Flame X123 was at the previous one, and I believe they got top eight, fifth, if I'm not mistaken, bringing that Roa to the table. So, uh, yeah, should be a quality match that we have here coming up. Okay, beautiful routing here from B-Boy Sonic X to get this corner conversion for a ton of damage. The Oki situation, going for the double overhead. The Dust Cloud wasn't expecting that to make contact. Tried to go for a tick throw situation a little bit too early. Nice DP on conversion. Kind of reversed that whole situation and now on the pressure. Flame X, one, two, three. All the... The zone game, so strong, gets a conversion, and yeah, off of that, just one DP. Here we are. D-Boy Sonic, utilizing heat, getting life back. Nice. Oh man, I... I feel like there's a hesitation because of the bar. Running out and not knowing what to do the next uh, for the next hit. Yeah, it could be. Flame stagger pressure for days, but very good defense from B Boy Sonic X. A untimely escape there from the whiff throw, leaving B Boy Sonic slightly out of the corner. I think that caught both players off guard, but Flame taking advantage of the hesitation and getting a round one that uh, lasted, lasted a very long time. That was a very long round one. <laughs> yeah, as you said, good match ahead of us, and players showing it so <laughs> Shield. And then A afterwards while running up. What an answer. I love it. Delayed B. Ah, this time instant A. Gets, gets the combo. Flame X. Getting the better of it overall. 
Okay, yeah, run up heat, gave him enough time to react to that item and go for the shield flame. Yeah, just simply controlling the neutral. Just like, yo, I got the life lead, I'm gonna just throw out some hitboxes. Don't approach me. What are you gonna do? Throw, 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 throw a lamp at me? I don't care. <laughs> I'm Michael Royal of all dumb jong and I control the neutral. You gotta hold that. <laughs> Yep, and B Boy Sonic did throw the lamp and got punished instantly. Oh man, this neutral control so strong. Flame X just staying back and still threatening a lot of different things from that range. Getting in the first game. Yes, yes. Yeah, I mean, B Boy, when they were getting that rush down going, when they were getting uh, the hits and staying in, it was looking solid. But uh, when they were set to that neutral, as soon as B Boy Sonic X is not under that uh, oppressive uh, mindset anymore, it's just Flame doing such a fantastic job of controlling that neutral game. The shields on the item toss have been fantastic. The moon skill usages, just like really tough for B Boy Sonic, kind of traverse everything. But doing a better job of it this time around with the jump in into the corner we go. A similar start from what we saw in the previous match, actually, for the round one. Ooh, the stagger pressure. B-Boy Sonic getting- Oh man, the chair straight into the arc this time. That's good. Not letting the meter go out of- <laughs> Getting to- uh, Going to waste. I understand, that was a lot of damage to cash in, so... Oh man. Let go the shield at the wrong time. <laughs> he was shielding the whole time and then let it go. So much damage off of that. Mm. Roa feels so strong, man. <laughs> he's, uh, he's quite good. <laughs> Just like in terms of like uh, his mobility, screen presence, screen control, and like what he's able to do to a matchup, like you have to play around him so carefully of uh, where you move. It's a uh, it's a nuisance. <laughs> Yeah, he definitely has the advantage from the long range, and he can just snipe you from so far and get damage off of it. Right now, B Boy Sonic trying to get things started, trying to go for a throw. Oh no! Heat a little too far away. Wanted to get the life back. Wanted a couple more chances to get things started, but Flame X taking that 2-0. Saw stuff with Flame X. I mean, really just looked. Um... Amazing uh, in terms of like uh, everything that they carried out there. I think they had a game plan that they were going into that match with, executed it accordingly, and uh, really just caught B Boy Sonic X off guard through and through. So, you know, Sonic X, definitely some someone that we uh, see here frequently at Heatwave PC, constant top eight placement. So, although they're going to lose back, they do have faith that they will uh, be making their losers run. But, um, yeah, Flame X123 looking phenomenal as they're going to be moving to uh, the first qualifier for our uh, top eight, actually. So yeah, we will be figuring out some other qualifiers for our top eight as such with this uh, next match. It's actually going to be uh, Shatani and Shishi that's coming up here shortly. Yes, yes. And Shishi, the Koma player. It's going to be some crazy rush down versus some crazy keep away. And just a lot of damage overall with these two characters. All right, both in. Boom, boom, boom. I do enjoy this new stage. I, I enjoy all the new stages like uh, they came out with in Melty. Same. Yeah, no, I've enjoyed the new stages. Um, I think the 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 Aoko stage at night is my favorite out of the batch, but this one's cool too. All of them have Same. good music, so. Yeah, I like this music a lot for just the hype matches, but yeah, the Aoko at nighttime, just great overall. Oh man, toss across the screen. I don't care that you're a zoner. I'm just going to toss you around, man. Jeez. 
GG. Continuing the pressure. Nice block, Shitani. Oh, a little too far for that Dover overhead. Gets punished. Shishi. Not spending the meter. Nice weapon to throw. Same situation. This time goes overhead. Shishi taking game one. Yeah, putting in some work here. Kuma Kishima was definitely uh, not a character that was um, present that I can remember in our PS4 bracket. And um, I have a little bit of insider knowledge here. And during uh, Shitani's Festival of Fights run, he said that one of his most annoying opponents was actually Yofei Scrub on Kuma Kishima. <laughs> so, like, he was just being overwhelmed by the pressure. Maybe you see a little bit of signs of that right here, right now. As Akuma's putting on a hurt, and then Shishi is keeping up the pressure. Almost had a game winning scenario there, but even off of the drop combo, finding the Oki, putting Shitani in danger, and taking game one. That was a pretty dominating game <laughs> between Shishi and Shitani. Shitani wasn't able to do too much. And yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe this is just the matchup. It's because of Lobby to DP. <laughs> I mean, obviously. He needs to be buff. Worst character in the game. Can't do anything. Everything is reactable. Yeah. <laughs> Except for that. No one's ever ready for that. True. <laughs> oh, man. And yeah, Shatani this time. Able to... Yeah. Everything coming up Shatani here. Getting the round one of game two pretty convincingly. And yeah, again. Having the right options here. Running into the Oki. This time goes for the low. Low overhead, low. Good stuff, love. You're such a bad ca Man, catching the <laughs> Just swinging. And this should be enough. Spend the meter. Yeah. Man, that, that was a lot of hard work on Shitani's side, man. This character, you know? He, he, he's so bad. You gotta work really hard. Um, good stuff, good stuff. I salute it. H having the uh, low tiers work for him. Not working for the low tiers, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, good stuff. Good turn around, but this time she she getting in the first hit. Ah, heat this time. Okay, keeping up the pressure, trying to keep this coma locked down. It's the corner we go. This is where uh, they can get quite threatening here. Catches the air tech. Yeah, that's a that's a common uh, tech out scenario 50 50 Shatani employs like if you early tech there either the tech catch throw the tech catch button No combo off the button, but it's still significant and it's it's keeping coma cornered. She she has not been able to escape yet Yeah, that button if it is a fatal counter though, it will be a full counter or full combo true I hadn't even thought about that you are correct Yeah, so far I mean, pretty even here. Shitani has the patented vlog. Yeah, <laughs> there it is. Yeah, that, but that was an unblockable version. That's actually air unblockable. Like, she, she between the gap, would have had the shield to get out of that, I think. But, like, cheeky stuff. Yeah. Bruh. Nice air throw. What? Oh, no! They didn't believe in the hit! Okay, but did not die. Oh, my God. Yo, caught with the pants down. Shitani? Pulling the pants up, <laughs> going for the 2 2 be fine, and a game away from moving into top 8, their second top 8 of the night. That's right. And yeah, strong start from Shatani, pushing all the way back in the corner, getting the bars. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta do something, he's just gonna stand there, just charge up that whole time. And yeah, this is looking rough. Getting the Oki, has the bar, has the moon drive. Oh my gosh, oh. big back bash to make the heat with and was still able to run up in time and use Vlob's stubby button to punish that with the burst <laughs> as <laughs> Shatani will get the 2-1 victory over Shishi. Moving to the topic, gonna be going up against you. So for the run back, they actually played in PS4 version. Very interesting. 
Yes, yes. Good work, Shatani. Good stuff showing what Vlog can do when you put your mind to it. Amazing. But Shishi, really good start. I mean, really overwhelmed Shatani, not letting him do anything, but uh, Shatani was able to make the correct adjustment and play Vlav against this coma, this overwhelming coma player, um, and was able to run it all the way back. Good stuff to both of them. Yup, yup. Followed up at that top eight, Shatani, Jordan Lex Yushiro, as I said earlier. Uh, Flamek123 is there, and we just figured out that their opponent will be Lunar, guaranteeing their uh, second top eight of the night as well. Lunar maybe going for the thing that we haven't seen before. Somebody that wins both Thief Waves. Could it be? Can Lunar be the one? It's, it's <laughs> We've, uh... We've been waiting to see if someone's been able to, will be able to do it. Take the PS4 and the PC bracket in the same night. It's never happened, but if anyone could do it, it might be Lunar with this DNOL. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, last time we thought it was going to be, um, be that. I think it was Lucy that was mighty able to be able to do it, but this time maybe it is going to be Lucy. But here we are, Phantom. One of the phantoms, one of the many phantoms. Maybe that's why they're called phantom, because you don't know who it is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Against Run the Mix Pete. Right now playing the Pete. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. We've seen the we've seen the run the Pete, right? Where it's uh, the Aoko going crazy on the mix, so <laughs> That's true. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. That's the mix. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, don't move. From full screen. What are you thinking? <laughs> yeah. Do you know who I am? I'm a hooker, man. Come on now. Dang. What a statement. Just pause for a couple seconds. Let it rip. Get all that damage. Yeah, the orb? Oh, yes. Just let it go. Whatever you want. That's so good, man. Yeah, full punish. Heat here. Just heats out. Oh my! <laughs> Watch your toes at all times, even when you least expect it. Tanum getting a nice cash out for that. What do we have here? Going for the. Got a stand shield. Not ready. Yeah. Too fast. Too cheap. Too many things to look out for. Shiki Tono, strong character. Oh, that was almost a conversion. That would have been sick, but instead, Pete is getting mixed in the corner here. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice attack. Getting a plus frames for attacking. Ah, this time. Shield DC, but in but. Still, not the answer because it just puts you close to get punished and Pete cashing out. Yeah, just went for the arc drive as soon as possible. Even in an instance where I think that uh, Run to Mix have gotten even more damage off that confirmed, just wanted that damage um, cashed in as soon as possible. Phantom on the other end, milking this combo for all that it's worth before going to the arc drive. You see the difference? Pretty much half of Oko's health gone here. Ah, uh, but the corner. Yo, throws. The orb? Yo, There's the orb. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. Tried to play with the mind game of the orb on top of going for the throw. Phantom. Seen that trick before with the phantom orbs. How dare you try that on my namesake? You're crazy. <laughs> As they get <laughs> game one. My gosh, yeah, this phantom corner pressure is crazy. Run the mix, finding a way out of the corner, but not without taking a punish of the unblockable and a subsequent combo from there. A bit of a drop, but I mean, phantom is just like not skipping a beat, just staying on run the mix, forcing a burst, not falling for that full screen beam this time around, ready for it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just runs through. Run the mix, trying to start things up. Last. Yeah. Really just trying to make something happen. I mean, at that point, just do or die. Oh my gosh, she's air to air. Sharking. 
Yeah. Finally a clean hit, but drops the combo. Again, just going for the air-to-air. -air. Constantly jumping. Yeah, they're recognizing that aspect of the run the mix playstyle, just like taking to the airs with the Aoko to kind of uh, stall out the neutral for a bit. And although Phantom's not getting any big conversions for those air to airs, it is adding up to equate to a full combo so long as they hit them like three or four times. And um, yeah, most importantly, it's not allowing Run the Mix to be in that comfort zone in the air. It's making the air a dangerous territory to be in. Phantom getting the cash out here. That, I thought that was going to be the end. Unfortunately, couldn't get the ending of that combo. It's still in that very advantageous situation. Going to be coming up advantageous off the clash and getting the entire victory 2 0 over Run the Mix. Moving on in loser side. So yeah, good stuff to Phantom. That is going to put Phantom... Yeah, that will put Phantom into uh, top 8. So they are joining the likes of uh, Shatani, Yusuro, Loser, and Flamex123. Good stuff to them. Uh, we're still figuring out those uh, other entries for the top 8. We'll have that to do shortly. But we're actually jumping back over to the winner's side uh, for our um, winner's semis. We're going to have Lunar and uh, Flamex123 facing off right now. I am not sure if uh, these two played last time. I can't remember. Um, like there was, I know they were both there. They both got top eight, but I just can't remember if they actually faced off against each other. I want to say no, but who knows? But here they are, riding off here on quite possibly one of the best stages here. <laughs> True. So I played out here. Game one, Luna coming off the PS4 victory for Heat Wave, trying to do the uh, double double. But Flame, very solid role play that we saw here earlier, already getting a good amount of momentum going. And this is, there's one thing that we've uh, said is the counterplay to Luna is uh, don't let them get started. <laughs> I mean, Flame doing a fantastic job of that thus far. Oh, yeah. And. Yeah, bro, it does have that option of quick, um, move skill. <laughs> yeah. So far, Flame X controlling the monster that is Luna. But here is the first Oki situation. Can we block? Nice defense. Ooh! Mm. Air Dash is Wasn't over. ready for the curve. Yeah. Air dash is over, wasn't able, ready to confirm, but here's the confirm, has enough for level 3, never mind. It's oh, Ender. Nice tech. Blocks the DP. Yeah, both that players round. were like sitting on like such a large amount of magic circuit and had a lot of recoverable health, so... I feel like there's a little bit of a chicken game of like not wanting to commit to anything too crazy and still be in range of punishing a uh, whiffed heat out in the open. Um, but yeah, Flame was able to find that first game. But Luna getting one of those patented knockdowns this is where things get dangerous. And what a catapult there for Flame. Okay, having a knowledge check of knowing, just duck under it, getting the low hit, and uh, reward it with a corner and a knockdown. Very nice. Okay, throw loop in it, but the wake up button's there from Luna. Oh my gosh, and look at how much meter Luna has. We know what's coming. Okay, not quite. Actually, just goes for a different type of corner ender there, just with the uh, EX projectiles. So much blocks done, I get a free heat. How about that? Yeah, overall, Luna was advantageous uh, even after all that i mean flamex was trying to just get some some life back but overall luna was still ahead on the life bar and just played it slow took that round this is a common starter flamex starting in the corner not letting luna breathe and getting another oki situation 
Ooh, the air throw, Luna. Okay, it has so much meter to work with. This is, oh my God, are you kidding me? <laughs> that was, that was stocks. All right, you're talking about the freaking moon skill armor to get to the knockdown off the spit bar, heat activation to get all that life back, and you got the arc drive. Literally, like, I think in terms of overall um, damage trading, that was like, a full life bar's worth because like luna got half health back and then did half of flame excess health with that conversion that was maybe some of the, that was maybe one of the most positive meter sequences i've ever seen like <laughs> that was so good <laughs> you know, literally yeah literally like almost every multi-blood mechanic in like one swift motion get out of here man <laughs> What a way to come back, man. And even after that, gets the hit and closes it out, the hit afterwards. That was a reversal among all reversals. Luna. Dangerous. And the way that he got the last hit was, you know, he was charging his bar with the two spears on the front and then popped it right when Flame X wanted to move forward. What a call out. But Flame X starting strong again. Okay, gets knocked down. Looking for it. Cross up. Yeah, those players are still there. Activated it, bro. <laughs> they what? Cross up into the low. How is anyone blocking that, yo? Oh, that not again. Insane. Okay, we're out. Interesting, though. Last time I saw a BC, it went the other way and got hit. So, timing specific, it looks like. Defensive options, which is actually better for noel i think <laughs> it's just that time flame x got out flying over flame x Getting the hit, getting in the corner. Oh my god! <laughs> what do you think this is, Street Fighter? Hadouken, Hadouken, get out of here! Oh, okay, yeah, double dash. Pressure here from Luna. Has the bar available, gets the knockdown, run under, takes every. Bruh. <laughs> Just when you thought you were safe. Hit you with the overhead. Crack the dome. You gotta be kidding me. Luna. 2-0 victory over Flame X. It felt like Flame X was coming out swinging. It had a solid idea. Some great pressure. Definitely putting... Definitely making Luna work for those two games, but I mean, all in all, the results still came up Luna as Luna is just on something with this DA Noel. Another guaranteed top three. And again, trying to threaten getting the twofer at Heat Wave tonight. See if that will be the future. Did yeah, that game did not feel like a Luna 2-0 game. No, not <laughs> like <at all. laughs> it really felt like Flame X was gonna take it to the distance, but man, Luna letting letting Luna start the game is <laughs> It's such snowball potential, and yeah, we just saw what happened. Take it and ran with it. All right, so we had this matchup in PS4. Both players, you, Searle, a PC player, and Shatani, an offline player matching up in ps4 but this time we're going to use kind of neck of the woods if you want to call it that playing on pc a little more comfortable already starting off with a strong combo chitani still has his os of being an offline player <laughs> oh my gosh elbows to the face use says the lockdown in the corner as well but okay shot just gets the run up throw switching places and beats the dp a 3c starter though i don't know about that one yeah, I might have been trying to do a 2C, but because you're holding down back, turn into a down forward. <laughs> oh my, these buttons 
Shatani just swinging, getting a hit as he needs it. What a turnaround! <laughs> yeah. All right, you sure with the air to air lands on the friend? I, man, almost looked like that uh, Arcrid was gonna land behind, but no. Keeping the pressure going into the corner we go, but you know, just a delayed heat. That's a very common reversal situation I've seen from Shatani. Actually, they don't do reversal heat a lot, possibly to like mess up the OS timing. They do delayed heat, and more often than not, it makes contact. Bruh, scoop out the ur. Mm. Abare wins the round. You, Searle. A lot of meter on his side. Full moon drive. This is gonna be a Oh my goodness. Tries to DP to get things started because he had all this resource to use, but instead gets hit. Man, just barely recovered in time off that shield to block the uh, 2C. They both activate the moon drive. You, Searle, coming out on top for it, though. Catches the low. Shatani possibly trying to up back. Met with, uh, I mean, a lot of freaking damage, dude. Into the corner we go, the knockdown. Ooh, okay, that was actually a big drop. You gotta be kidding me. No way, no way, no way. What? Oh. Wait, wait, no! <laughs> yeah, because they held the latter part of that record, couldn't confirm to the arc drive. That was a lot of damage with Stunt Shatani's end. Aw, oh, snap. Sorry again. Oh no, I think this is enough. Never mind. Oh man, a lot of drops here. Oh my god, Chip for days. His win condition is definitely in the. No way. How? How did it hit? <laughs> what did he do? Did he think he's gonna whiff? Maybe he tried to jump? I don't know. What did I don't he know, do? Maybe, maybe Yusuke was trying to buffer for like the level 3 and then didn't commit. And I don't know, man. I don't know why that hit at all. Damn. Zam, as they would say. <laughs> oh man. Started around the air. <laughs> uh oh. Is Shitani in Yusuro's head? I don't think so. It doesn't look like it just yet. Yeah, Mario Kart double dash with the pressure, the delayed uh, JC into late air dash JC. A solid opener for Yusuro from time to time. Gets caught with the, the, the day zero. <laughs> Half charge 6C to make you think it's an overhead into 204A, it's actually a low. Son, not like this. You need to finish these combos, Yusura. Okay. <laughs> there have been so many uh, dropped rounds and dropped instances for Yusura um, due to combo drops. And I mean, he doesn't have the OS of saying that it's because it's PS4 anymore. <laughs> so. <laughs> yes. My god, 214A start here for Shatani. He has so much meter. You need to be so careful the way you play around this if you're Yusura. Bruh. Really? The 3C anti air working? Yo. He's a nut. Yo, he's feeling himself. Hey, man. He's gonna go crazy. Yo. What did I say? <laughs> no, 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 if the freaking 3C anti air works, he's going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good button, man. No. One of the best anti <laughs> <laughs> Look, it wasn't a counter hit. That means Yusuo just empty jumped and didn't do anything. They didn't. They didn't. You know, shield. They didn't do a button. Like, look, man. Oh no, Yusuo again dropping the combo. But yo, please finish this. Yusuo, please. Oh. oh. Yo, if you lose, it's your fault. Oh my God, Yusuo combo, combo, combo. Okay, he got it. He got it. He got it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Pulling that game out after getting hit by the, the best anti-air in the game, 3C from Vlav. So true, so true. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I mean, I hate the hyper-focus on the combos in those latter instances, but it just kept me stressed enough how much mileage Yusuo has lost from those interactions just like that. Missed arc drives, missed finishers, and giving Vlav a chance is like, that's not the character that you want to have a second chance, you know? Like, <laughs> just... Put them, put them out of their misery as it's possible. Don't, don't allow for any crazy arc drives, any crazy ass shenanigans. Looks like Yusuo is doing just that. Huge momentum in this round thus far. Working on near perfect. Oh 
oh my gosh, that's just so much block stun, so much pressure to the point where it was just like, you know what? I think you're conditioned up for the throw. Went for it, and it was money. Husero looking uh, a lot solid, a lot more solid. Okay, getting a knockdown into the corner. Yo, okay, yeah, I recognize off the screen freeze. Needed to pop the moon drive to keep himself safe. <laughs> okay, a very, <laughs> very big commit on that shield. Not coming up, uh, you know, too advantageous there for Usuru as they're in the corner now. Okay, this time has a proper trajectory and timing to get that uh, elbow follow up off of the DP. Oh my god, run up heat, but not punish them from Usuru. Oh, he's gonna do it. He's gonna... Yeah, I knew it! I knew he was gonna do it! Have the love mindset! I knew it was coming! I'm just <laughs> mad he didn't go on the arc drive. I knew he was gonna try 60. I'm like, dude, he's setting up for it right now. He's peppering it like, oh, I'm just, just doing my lows in my minutes. Don't mind me. Oh my god, <laughs> these freaking vlog players, dude. I know what they think. I know what they want. They just want one thing. <laughs> Yeah, but unfortunately, wasn't in time to cash out, and that life that Yusura has definitely would have been gone if he, if he cashed out there. But instead, Yusura taking that 2-1 over Shitani. Yeah, and that does move Yusura into winner's final. It's going to be going up against Lunar a bit later. We got to fill out the loser side of this top eight. Phantom got the win over Shishi. They're going to be going up against Flame X123 right after this next match, uh, because the next match that we do have on deck will actually be B-Boy Sonic X and Wrath Silk coming up to the station. So yeah, in previous times, this would be a Hisui Mirror match, but... Uh, no, it looks like Rathsook has made the switch to uh, CL, so... Unless uh, they're gonna take us out right now and do a last-minute swap, but... That would break my heart, so I hope they don't do that. Mm, I mean... Thinking about something. Oh, he still means to see. But he hates the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> fair, fair, fair. I mean, look at his, his icon and his, his banner. Man. But I mean, look at B-Boy Sonic X's icon and freaking... Like... <laughs> <laughs> this is backwards. It's crazy. What is going on? I don't know what's going on, man. Alright, well, here we go. Fighting to persist in this loser side. Uh, full screen approach from both players here. But B-Boy striking blood first. Mm. Okay, yeah. Letting it rip with the DP. Goes for the double uh, jump pressure. Not really able to crack b-boy sonic at all so just goes for the command throw that is a, that's a counter the blocking you know command grab why not going for even deeper throws yeah there is like an interesting uh kind of divide in this matchup oh my god i tried to shield the cake was not uh, able to do so um the mid screen and the like full screen is like pretty cl determined just because of her black keys uh like, Hisui needs to be at least in range of, like, her 6C in order to contend against that, because item tosses are just a bit, like, too slow. Item tosses are, like, a screen control type projectile. It's not really, like, a zoning type projectile, but e even with that, you know, uh, CL has access to the 2 c full screen, you know, tracking super, so he's gonna be really careful on the approach, but up close can go anyway. Yeah, and right here, B-Boy Sonic was about to start his pressure. Nice backdash out of that command grab, but not a big punish. Rat Silk. Locked and loaded, so much bar, but out of Moon Drive now. Yeah, I actually think there's a lot of missed opportunities for exactly what I was talking about. This 236 C from CL to contest uh, B-Boy Sonic, because Sonic has been pretty um, content with throwing a lot of items and uh, hasn't really gotten punished for it quite yet. Oh, yikes. Bro, that, that setup B-Boy Sonic just did was pretty sick. He did the item grab, 
and it threw uh, Wrath right into the picnic setup. That was that was sweet. <laughs> Indeed. All right, well, Wrath Sook. Stick with the guns. Not playing the Mary. Got to be opting for the CL. But yeah, I think that's just more of what I would like to see. Like, the Black Keys definitely do play a part in this matchup, but you have to have the, uh, the 236C available too in uh, reaction if you're going to play those more mid screen, uh, full screen type of mind games. All right, getting the knockdown. Yeah, item toss into the Bento. Tried to run forward and detonated right at the perfect timing there for B-Boy Sonic. All according to Keikaku. And the IAD, B-Boy Sonic is looking quite nice here as they're around away from being able to take the set. Grass Silk needs the necessary adaptations in order to make this happen. Let's see if they got it. Dancing around the screen all over the place. Oh my god, Antier with item toss, huh? Again! Another one. <laughs> Yo, the RNG going crazy for B-Boy Sonic X right now. Uh oh. Yeah, Wrath, unfortunately, in another position where they have all this meter available. It seems like they have all the magic circuit to spin and no place to spin it properly. And B Boy Sonic will be able to take it. Last round with a perfect 2 0 victory. Moving along in this loser side top eight. Great stuff. Yep, B-Boy Sonic takes it. Unfortunately, the L player out of the bracket. Yeah. And here we are, two CL players sitting at the station. Really sad about it. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy she got top eight at least, you know. Uh, let's have Shitani and B-Boy Sonic X run on stream. Why not? Why not? We'll just, we'll just do the rest on stream. Sounds good to me. Yeah. yeah. All right, the both here. Ooh. How did CL get in? Yo, Michael, you wanna do no, 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 no. We have to cope, Paul. No more CL <laughs> players for the rest of the night. All right, all right. <laughs> oh, man. She doesn't. <laughs> all right, all right. Flame X. Put here by Luna versus Phantom. Okay, yeah, that should be cornering Phantom seemingly, but Phantom just keeping up the aggression thereafter. Gonna be able to fight themselves off the corner with a good amount of damage. And, um, yeah, I mean, like, Flame X's neutral control is the big thing that we've been highlighting, um, just based off the usage of the very good moon uh, skills to cover the mid-screen and such, but that's not an aspect of the matchup, and that Shiki is getting in there and not getting out. Like, this has just been all Phantom and terrible momentum. The wake-up boom to try to get anything going. Okay, yeah, spending that heat to get some life back as well. Okay, and all of a sudden, this is actually looking very, very doable for Flame X. Gonna be catching in the arc drive to really turn the tide to the matchup. Phantom may be inclined to use that heat activation, but not even gonna get the chance as Flame X finds the last hit that they need. What a comeback and a uh, great presence of mind there for Flame X to do so. Indeed, indeed. And right when you thought Flame X was out of it, and Phantom was gonna keep running a wreck. Flame X able to finish that round. And again, Fenton starting strong here. A lot of bar. I don't think anyone's blocked that charge C yet. Impossible. <laughs> Behind the back? Okay, yeah, good block. Not getting opened up, but yeah, just cross up when you least expect it. Uh, 
Oh my gosh, yeah, Flamex doing such a fantastic job of looking with the Oki. Just don't know where to block, man. He's gonna be double overhead, could be overhead low, tick throw, empty, empty throw. Like it's just the 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 pressure has been insane. That's just like what has made them so threatening as a player. I feel with their row is just like the neutral control is really really on point when they're uh, getting into the vibe in the mid screen. But their rushdown is really good too. Like um, it's just a player that like all in all, if they have an opportunity to dictate the pace, they do such a good job with what they are given at the disposal. Yeah, and already correct option here like, to beat the moon drive activation. And just keeping up the pressure, what's the option gonna be? Shields just in case uh, there is a moon skill. Bro, and continue oh the shields. <laughs> The, uh, the rock, paper, scissors kind of going crazy on both ends there. Phantom was able to narrowly escape with their life. But both players utilizing a ton of resources to make that all happen. Phantom trying to make sense of it all. Going to be able to get a knockdown. Yeah, what's the heat to get some life back? But just a reversal for Flame X having none of that. Say goodbye to your heat. The mood activation. Phantom trying to reclaim it. But the shield A. But a little bit of a fancy combo from Flame X not coming to full fruition there. Yo, look at that pickup. Again, these combo drops! Bruh. Oh. JA. Phantom's best move. <laughs> He's hitting them, but this time actually converts them into the full combo and completes that round. Playmax not able to take it, but starting strong again. Yeah, this offense. And he's got the loops down, but no, Phantom says, I want out. DPs. Oh, okay. What a moon skill off the moon drive activation. Guaranteeing that they had that armor available for the guard points. The knockdown. Flame. Oh, but it's not that Aggie yeah, was going to punish. It was just, it was just perfect control. Just like back dash at the perfect range to make you with a button and then punish you with the projectiles. No biggie. Man, these two players are going toe to toe. A lot of interactions I haven't seen before, and yeah, Flame X, even though had the corner pressure, just opted to back up and got the hit. Throws out of the corner. Maybe accident? Phantom getting the hit. Corner positioning. Has meter. Gonna spend one. Oh my gosh. Woo! Wow. Yeah, just trying to go crazy with the offense and air actions there with Flame X. Able to utilize that moon drive to their advantage, freeze time, and have a proper response. Putting Phantom on a very, very critical position here as Phantom doesn't have the proper way to... Yeah, you, you can tell the Flame X was looking for that entire time. It was just like, I know that you need heat in order to win this match unless you're going to find a way in. And just constantly setting up situations that were like heat baits or not giving Phantom the room to heat safely. As soon as Phantom committed, had the punish, and Flame X going to be moving into top four. Guaranteed top four here for Flame X. Doing better than they did last time. I think previous heat wave they got fifth, so good stuff. Another guaranteed top eight, and um, this time in the money. So yeah, we're going to be deducing who Flame X's opponent will be between Shatani and B-Boy Sonic X coming into the fold here. Shatani, we've been uh, talking about pretty much all night, not only because they've been doing well, but also because of the background. Shatani, a uh, frequent participant of our offline tournaments, first time at our online tournaments and doing pretty well for themselves, second at PS4 and guaranteed fifth here for PC, but I would imagine that they... Run it, run it all the way back to another Grand Finals positioning, so see if they're able to make the losers run to do so. But a very threatening opponent that stands in their way. The B-Boy Sonic X with that Hisui. Really putting on a hurt every time that we see them play on stream. Alright. completion. Gets the life back. Very classical Vlav play. Indeed. <laughs> I, 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 won't, I won't say anything about that. 
<laughs> that is some new school bomb play right there. Man. I'm glad you spoke before I did there. <laughs> That's gonna be toxic. <laughs> I mean, yes. Hey yo! I think you need to shield that if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. Yeah, I, I think so. Bruh. What a sweet! Well, yeah, what a timing. A lot of damage here. Oh my, yeah, just miss space on the heat. That's actually not the first time that we should try to do that. Just unfortunately not have an idea of the uh, proper ranges for those reversal heats. Got punished in a otherwise super close round. Just one pivotal mistake bringing it down. Okay. Oh, no combo there, but got the plus frames. Uh-oh. The loops. Nice! Okay, yeah, very good recognition of the gap there. Just the uh, catapult and Sui before they had to take that bento. Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, 3C? That was so crazy. That was kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> right, possibly the best move in the game. Look, man. Oh. Uh huh. Go on. <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't used as a traditional anti it was a setup. Alright, it doesn't count. Alright, alright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Shitani closing that round out. A very interesting usage for B-Boy Sonic. Puts down the uh, the picnic and then the hyper jumps over to the other side, getting a quick cross up, but not enough here. Yeah, committed to the safe jump with the JB there, B-Boy. That's kind of like the mix that you run with Vlav off of those uh, air combos of like, eh, I'm going to do the safe jump, will I commit to the button or not? And like the escape, one of the escapes that you have as a defender is the shield. Um, so B-Boy is showing that they're willing to do that. Is going to inform future decision making, I think. But right now, you're going to have to chill out. Take all this damage, go to the other side of the screen. Arc drive, Shitani. Needs to be careful here, B-Boy Sonic. Yeah, run of blood heat is gonna be used and gets the hit it's instantaneously afterwards. You gotta imagine the arc drive is coming. Now Shatani in a ton of trouble. Does have the proper range for the heat this time around. Trying to close the gap. He's gonna do it. I do it. I do it. I do it. B-Boy Sonic X do it too. <laughs> okay. Tries to go for an air tech catch. Swiper to swipey, swipe to swipe. Oh my gosh. And yeah. B-Boy Sonic. Able to close it out. A very back and forth matchup though. Yes. <clears throat> Both players kind of know what to look out for. Reacting properly. Mostly just the mind games and what's going to develop from here on out. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, B-Boy just calling up the Shatani aggression, the jump back button, stuffing the approach, but a little bit uh, kind of lackluster on the Oki, spinning a bar for no real uh, payout. In fact, getting punished for it. Shatani's going to be able to get a knockdown in quarter positioning. Did not. There's the mind game right there. Off the safe jump. Didn't go for the JB. That just went for the run up throw. And Shatani is definitely in a comfortable pocket. Hasn't been able to crack the double B-Boy Sonic X with those uh, chart 6Cs though. B-Boy Sonic just a little bit too wise for it. Keen reactions at play, but that has not stopped the onslaught of Vlog Pressure Shatani with a very well-constructed round there. Yeah, backing up, did a little fade away just to bait out the heat and the whole time afterwards was just looking out for that and finally was able to get it. Aye, aye, aye. Yes. Nice scoop. Answer. Yeah. That recovery time. Blob buttons. E boy got the hit, but didn't commit. Wow. Just run up the rope. Oh my gosh. The tense. The tenseness over here. <laughs> oh, okay. Just the cross chop dive takes it for B Boy Sonic. Uh, they are around the way from being able to take the entirety of the set. Shatani. Oh boy. Yeah, tried to commit off the whiff to go for another 2 2 C, but not invincible there. Getting poked out. Oh, 
no ender b-boy sonic losing a little bit of pressure for that but you can see yeah b-boy just playing the lane game recognizing that shatani wants to close the distance to find some hits possibly pop a heat here soon Then you gotta imagine enough of this knockdown that has to be a Shatani's head. The heat in order to not allow for this game to go. The moon drive is what's chosen instead. Okay, I mean that works. But yeah, if you're not gonna pressure me, time is running out though. Yeah, I can get the hit. Not gonna be the kill, but definitely one of the last hits here. Oh my gosh, a nice counter poke there, interrupting the uh, history pressure. Chitani swinging back. It's blocking it out. Oh my oh. god. That was something that Chitani did a lot during the PS. It's not over. Oh, just a little bit missed based on the heat activation yet again for Chitani. A good. Uh, recognition of the spacing there for B-Boy Sonic X to get the punish and get the dub 2-0 and we'll be moving into the top four territory. Good stuff to B-Boy Sonic X. Yeah, yeah, I mean, looks like we need a buff love. Yeah, if you had a DP, we didn't even have to worry about that right there. Yeah. Air dash backwards. What do you got hit? DP? Come on. Wild. Yeah, we got our top four going on here. Lunar and Usurl sitting in winners finals right now. And then Flame X123 versus B Boy Sonic is gonna be on the loser side. Are we running uh, the winners first? Uh, no, it should be loser semis right now. Gotcha. All right, we're gonna need B Boy back in here. Yeah, let's get a, a little bit of a idea here between the two of these players. Because B-Boy Sonic has been in a lot of our previous heat waves. I don't know if they've gotten quite this far, though. Um, let's see, B-Boy Sonic, yeah, previously 7th, 9th, 9th. Actually, a lot of 9th. Uh, a 5th at one of them as well. Oh, sometimes they play in the PC and the PS4, I see. So yeah, this is a actually unfamiliar territory for B-Boy Sonic X. They have constantly made 9th. Sometimes seventh and fifth place in our heat waves, but this is their first time kind of being within the top four fold. So that's fantastic. Uh, Flame X one two three. On the other hand, I think they've only played in a one previous one and they got fifth out of uh, twenty five entries. So one of the more stacked tournaments there. Um, but both players have been really stepping it up here. So I would say they're the places that are well deserved. Uh, B boy Sonic X was just with the very good Hisui play, some like good cycling of Oki situations with the Bentos and uh, fantastic neutral presence as well. But you can't say neutral without mentioning the person on the other end of the screen here. Flamex123 with this Roa has just been an absolute menace. Very good mid-range control and I mean their offense has been pretty nutty as well so see who's gonna earn that top three positioning right now. Flamex putting on a quite a bit of hurting as we're in the corner. Gonna be able to get an air throw knockdown. B-Boy Sonic. No heat available for uh no match record available for any heat activations or anything. And yeah, up till now, Flamex has been carrying the whole round, and I think this is going to close it out, actually. B-Boy Sonic only got one chance to get any action other than that. It's been in the corner. So, so far, Flamex doing a lot of work here. B-Boy needs to adapt here. Okay, the Bentos. Nice, jumps over, B-Boy Sonic. Getting a first clean hit, but doesn't finish it. Yeah. I'm... Now is not the time. <laughs> we need every hit to count. Oh my god! <laughs> what an answer! That was like the perfect space to throw that out to. Nice BC, but no conversion here. 
We need to complete this combo. Get some Oki started. Okay, oh, Oscar level three. Yo, nice. okay. Shield covering, any moon drive activation stuff. Has the picnic just to keep him safe. And yeah, B-Boy Sonic. Tying it up. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's so tough. You think the Bento's gonna explode, then she just rubs and cracks with an open on the skull. The history headbutt. Our favorite. Nice. Extra damage. Oh my, what a fantastic meet there. The, you know, that table uh, throw from history is definitely the neutral interaction that you can expect to see a lot in the mid screen to kind of gap close and have some armor for history. But for Flame X to have the proper counteraction, gonna be really telling for the rest of the set. Stuck in this corner for now though, but I there's been a really big divide in between when Flame X gets started and when B Boy Sonic X gets started. Like B Boy Sonic uh, sometimes spins the meter for that pressure in terms of the dust cloud and the bentos, but I feel like Flame X's defense has been really on point for the entirety of it. It's not until Flame X gets uh not until B Boy gets a knockdown where like the really threatening mix come to play that actually opens up Flame X. Yeah, we're just full screen out of bar, Flame X a little bit closer. Ooh! And the back dash, just, oh my gosh, just a full control of like the last 50 seconds of this matchup. Like, B-Boy Sonic has found openings, they've ha found ways to get Flamex to block, and just like the perfect defense. Flamex having very good navigation of getting out of pressure and resetting back to that neutral screen, and just like, more often than not, just kind of dictating the entire flow of this match. It's really, really impressive looking stuff. Yeah, but once people like, get started, things are pretty crazy for his suicide. But so far, Flame X. I feel like Roa has better neutral, th like threatens more neutral stuff, because it all turns into this. Oh, really? A heat right there? And Flame X ready to punish. This is spiraling out of control for the first game. Yeah, I really feel like the issue here for B-Boy Sonic X has just basically been uh, finding the hit. It hasn't really been like, a, up until this round, it hasn't really been like navigating around Flame X. It's been like finding the hit and getting that slow ball going. Okay, gonna be able to get the knockdown. Oh, too early on the throw, that heartbreaker. There it is, Flame X now on match point. B-Boy Sonic needs the adaptation and needs it fast. Whoa, way, oh, dude! Cool you gotta be killing me. <laughs> Not killing me, kidding me. You gotta be killing. You, you gotta be killing me. <laughs> he's kill me right he's now, killing dude. B boy, but. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Oh, man, <laughs> that's okay. Why is Ra able to do all this? I have some questions myself. Man, oh man, oh man. Flame X is just basically. Like, it feels like they're doing whatever they want at this point. Just like full control of the entirety of this match. Really making it hard for B boy Sonic X to do really anything. The fake out, yeah, that's been a constant Flame X faking like they're gonna go for the dash and then uh, getting B Boy Sonic to commit to a heat or a moon and just taking that as a uh, victory there as the reversal action doesn't really do anything for them. But B Boy Sonic, a chance here. The knockdown tries to go for the side swap, nothing. With Brad, it's still a mix up. It's fine. Oh, the DP. Oh my gosh. Oh. Able to make the shield with and Flame X 1, 2, 3. You gotta be able to get the 2 0 victory over B Boy Sonic X. I forgot that this was actually a run back. Flame X 1, 2, 3 is who sent B Boy Sonic X to losers. And it was in a similar fashion. You know, it may uh, be a couple of things. It could be the character matchup or it could just be the player matchup. It uh, just feels like Flame X has uh, full control of it nonetheless. But uh, with that, they will be guaranteeing the uh, a top 3. Finish here, you know, guaranteed top three and losers finals. Sitting pretty, waiting for the loser of Lunar and Yusro, which will be our next match. But a solid run to B-Boy Sonic X, like I said, this has been someone that has been uh, within our bracket since like the beginning, if I'm not mistaken. And it's definitely the highest placing that they've had thus far. So good stuff to them. Yes, yes. I mean, man.
that's that's the last Sasuke, I think, right? Everything else is mapped out. We got Ark, we got Danoel, and then we got Roa. That is correct. Match the, the Roa that we just saw. Yes, yes, everybody from that loser semis and they're on out are uh, in the money as we do top four payout here at Heatwave. Uh, they are going to be opting into that match arena. Expansion point match arena in the chat. We are running out of time here as this is our last tournament of the night. A uh, free $50 pot uh, or $50 pot bonus given to PS4 and PC tonight. You can uh, contribute more if you'd like. Just be sure to click that link. Uh, there are free ways to donate. Be sure to check out the sponsor quest. Utilize those before the night is through. It's free money. Don't let it go to waste as we are here. Winners aside, they have started and I did not change the room after. We'll be doing the first to two and then coming back and then having to run it back again because I forgot. <laughs> it's okay. It is okay, but you, Sero, getting both of the first hits here. I mean, don't let Luna get started. That, that, that is the game plan, man. That is the only, like, <laughs> that's the most consistent winning strategy that we've seen, and it makes sense uh, as you, Sero, gets the full execution of that gameplay with a perfect, no less. Of uh, just simply don't let Luna get started. Don't get hit. Oh, but like that, Usero betting big, just trying to get the momentum of continuing it, and Luna instead chases the backdash afterwards. Oh, man, this character. Jeez, and that was the issue, right? Even though Usero got that perfect, um, it meant that Luna wasn't doing it or like didn't get much of a chance to do anything in that first round which means luna has a ton of resources so it's like full moon four bars like luna was just ready to spend all of that and nearly a reverse per perfect you still was able to find a little bit of damage but uh an absolute complete switch up of momentum there in that round two man the snipe out of the air right as you're jumping nice tech and now here we are gonna be the oki situation to jump over. Ah, oh, the <laughs> so many options that could have been done right there. Opens up with the overhead though. Oh my God, where's she going? Good defense from Yusuro. Neutral skip. Let's go. We got the corner. Bruh. It's out of the air. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's cool. You gotta jump action afterwards what if i did this love to Ooh. see it man or do you <laughs> I, I mean, this character looks really fun but at the same time i do not want to play against that. yeah, that's the thing i'm just <laughs> looking at i'm just like dude this is how it's getting ironed out luna just pushing this character to the limit just looking pretty disgusting like a lot of our players that have not been able to find an answer for da noel and I mean, if there's any night where anyone's going to be able to cash in the double victory, it feels like this could be Luna's night, as they are just going, running a tear in this uh, bracket thus far, and in this winner's finals, Yusuro, in that Oki situation, able to shield out, but there it is! That is a situation we've explained time and time again. Even if you block it successfully, you're set back to neutral, and Luna's just like, okay, cool, I'm back at the mid-screen. I play pretty well here, just so I reckon, so <laughs> good luck getting in. <laughs> Yeah, but so far, you still are able to get in. Nice gets a hit. This should be enough. Bro, you got a kill. Okay. okay. Yes. I did not want to say anything, but it is PC mode for you, sir. <laughs> nah, don't, get, don't give him the OS. Not, not you, sir. If there's anybody else, I'd be like, fine, but no, not you, sir. He can't have that OS. For sure. <laughs> it's fair. You, sir, has got to have this stuff down. Strong player. Oh, what, what does she do? <laughs> you saw just sitting there and like, yeah, I'm Ark. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Tried the neutral skip, but Noel says no. Yeah, just a oh. different aspect of gameplay that we're seeing from Luna here. The zoning style, because I mean, it's just like... Yeah, you can see Yusuro trying to change the gears and figure out what exactly to do in that situation. Not having a bunch of full screen checks, but just slow and steady wins the race seemingly as they do get the hit. Trying to 
cash this in for a kill in the very last hit. The very last hit of the DP super does it as Yusuru inches their way into a match here to tie it up 1-1. That was very tense. I mean, get on Yusuro to just try to squeak out as much damage as he could. Didn't want to go back to neutral at all. Didn't want to give Luna another chance, and it was just enough. And man, again, the DP starter just wants to get things started. And this time was able to get the hit, getting his pressure going. And yeah, good luck so far. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, yeah, nice recognition of the gap there, going for the invincible DP. Yeah. <laughs> he's just he's trying to solve for like X right now, but he doesn't know the alphabet. So he's like trying to discover what X is first. Alright, yo, it worked! That was a punish. That is the one full screen option that Ark has is the three bar spin. And I mean, it's just like, if it's going to equate to a round at this point, why not, you know? Yeah. And we're going to build it back. It's fine. Oh, boy. A lot of new stuff, a little bit more freestyling it feels like on the Luna side, but now here we are. No way, no way, dude! What do you mean that there is another type of setup that involves the fireball and then absorbing you into the three pillar for a free IED? What do you mean? Man, you can just take plus frames instead and that plus frame lasts forever? I mean, you gotta hit, it's three of them popping. This character is so funny. Like. <laughs> I hope I never have to fight this character. <laughs> Man. I think eventually, if you continue playing, you're gonna have to. Oh my gosh. Yusuro getting the knockdown. Oh, reversal blood heat. This is act. The implications of this sucks. You're like deterred from winning the counter poke because the blood heat is there for Dead Apostle the Well. And you saw what happened. Luna was just like, yup. Ticket to go in, let's go! And so it's just like, <laughs> ate that arc drive. That is insane, man. Yeah, just a freeway in, for sure. All the stuff on the screen, but Yu Searle still just trying to get his way in, find his way through, using all his moon skills. Actually gets a hit, but tries to go for the overhead. Gosh, two heat activations in this round here from Luna. The amount of life regain here has been nuts. The amount of control. It just has to be whittling away at Yusuro's mentality because Yusuro's been finding some good hits in this round, but they do not have anywhere near the white life lead, but the willingness to keep going for a magic circuit. Next hit could be it. Yusuro just wants anything. Please give me a hit. Find it off of the throw, trying to make it equal and kill the arc drive makes contact. And Yusuro, do nothing but willpower alone, able to take this round. Dude. This did not feel like a Yusuro centric round at all. Like he really, really has had to work for this. And I'm like, I'm not sure I'm willing to say that he has found the answer per se. It's more so of just like persistence and outplay that has allowed for him to get it going. Cause these are not easy rounds or games at all. <laughs> yeah, no, not at all. I mean, Yusuro is really just Edging towards the aggression side, and whenever he gets a chance, he's gonna try to find a way in. And I mean, you saw it at the end, the moon, moon bar was all the way down because anytime he had a chance to, he's gonna try to neutral skip. Yeah, I mean, it's good though. I mean, like, it is a. It, it is something, right? Like like I said, it's not, it's not the answer, but it is something that has been uh, a huge kind of attribute of his gameplay. It's like. Uh, picking those opportunities whenever they present themselves to gap close you know being a little bit more patient with the approach and uh honestly amazing defense you know not allowing for luna to get started in the way that they typically do the shield gonna be guaranteed to knock down here yusuro feeling it now shield bc off the interaction has three bars available spin that cash spin that cash the arc drive and now seemingly out of nowhere yusuro a game away from Sending Luna the losers. 
yeah, really strong adaption f with what he has to go with. I mean, this is all things that he's been figuring out this whole night, basically. <laughs> How do you fight this character? And he's got something going on so far that's been working out. And his defense, obviously, has been doing really good. Yeah, one of the few sequences that Yusho has even had a chance to go for charge C there. Luna's still ready for it. But the reversal DP to get out the elbow to switch it up, put Luna's back up against the wall. Yusho reaching for it to shield mind game, still has Luna in this corner. Just really steady with the approach. Yeah, Yusuro not being deterred of... Oh my gosh, just what I said. Not being deterred of having a headstrong nature of closing the gap at the wrong spacing. What a run-up shield! The, the throw? Yusuro? No, trade on the Uki. Did not have the properly timed meaty. But a drop combo from Luna. A rare sighting, but still going to be able to catch the landing. Oh my god. And look at Luna, nearly a full moon, four bars of magic circuit, Yusuro, recognizing the game plan, don't let any of that touch me, don't let the dead apostle Noel get started, knock down in the corner, find the roll off the stand shield, Luna expecting the safe jump, and this could be a next touch win scenario if Luna, or if uh, Yusuro finds a strike, and there it is, but no pickup, but it's okay, Yusuro finds a Rekka, and Yusuro, Gonna be able to take it 3-1 with a perfect at the end over what is looks like a seemingly unstoppable Luna Dead Apostle Noel Yusuro finding an answer and finding a game a set. My gosh, what a adaptation there from Yusuro. What a game indeed. I I mean, from the start, it felt like a Luna-centric game. From what happened PS4, coming here from the first game, Luna was starting off really strong, and all of a sudden, it was just Usuro, Usuro, Usuro. That was... Man, such momentum. That was insane. Good stuff for Usuro, but... We're on to the next match. See if we can get the run back, or... You know, Flame Max is gonna go up. We will see. Yeah, I mean, this uh, this set in itself is a run back. Uh, Lunar and Flame X did play, and Winter Sammy Lunar is actually who sent Flame X to losers. Um, but that was in a condition where Lunar was looking in unstoppable. Like, I, I like just being honest, from like Lunar's play at that point in the night, it just felt like that nobody could stop Lunar. Uh, now, you know, Yusuro proving that uh, Lunar is stoppable. Flame X making a fantastic losers run uh, since that set has happened. I don't know. We'll see if the tides change this matchup or if Lunar has the uh, capabilities to stay dominant when it comes to fighting uh, a lot of the players tonight. Loser's final. I did not change the rounds to rematch limit three, but it's okay. Wow, whiffed and then still got the throw punish. Woo! The ant here, but couldn't get a full confirm. Luna. Solid hit. Doesn't get the Oki finish. That's a weird drop. Yo, the bait. <laughs> Good stuff. Pyrrha's on top of you, doing the charge. You want to act, you want to interrupt her, and then she's not. Uh-uh! What do you think you're doing, mister? <laughs> yeah, an early start from Playmax again. Yo, triple dash! <laughs> Look. <laughs> When the Mario Kart Double Dash doesn't work, you go for the unforeseen sequel. Mario Kart Triple Dash, just go for it yet again. Flame X. Yeah. It wasn't released for a reason. The Flame X. Bringing it out. Not able to close it out here. Okay. Luna not going for the heat, but instead trying to get for get a uh, an actual opening to use the heat. But instead, Flame Max just jabs out. Confirm? Yes. Is this going to be the first Oki okay we see from Luna? Seems so. Getting that knockdown. The shield. 
Behind the back, tries to get Flame X. No dice. It commits to the entirety of the Rapid Beat. Just keeping this pressure going forever. A nice reversal from Flame X to catch the uh, backsway of that super. <laughs> <laughs> One of the same, these two. The next level, Moon Drive Shield. Last second usage of the EXDP into the jump cancel. Man, the charge C absorbing everything, letting Luna. No, oh, again, missing out on the Oki. Oh, air unblockable? Yup, yup, yup. That's gonna be our arc drive. And there it is. It's one of those situations that we hadn't seen thus far in this night of uh, the Roa lightning trap in the air into the air unblockable, but. Luna not committing to a shield in that interaction, subject them to, subject them, subjected themselves to that pressure, and a Flame X getting a game. This is already different than what we saw on the winner's side. Yeah, Luna has not been able to get the... Man, I think Luna's changing things up a little bit too much here. Dropping some Oki potential. Nice, gets the throw. Okay, the heat activation for Flame X to get some life back. Not a ton of Magic Serpent available, so not getting a ton of usage off of that heat activation, but still pretty, you know, noticeable. Corner positioning wins the Clash Rames. <laughs> the overhead conversion from Top Call is Oh boy. No way. Oh. Just let it rip. And it hit. Man. <laughs> okay, Luna, once again. That's a very uh, big characteristic that I've noticed from uh, Luna when they lose the rounds. They come in a round two with like four bars ready to go, and it's like, all right, well. It's almost like the it's like the the Luna Vlav ice form. It's just like, oh, you, you got around on me on God. All right, don't let me hit you. Like, <laughs> yeah, truly. But right now, Flamex not not letting it happen. Not letting Luna cash out here. Oh my gosh, the Faints trying to bait out a Luna heat, a Luna moon drive activation. Nothing happened, but. Uh, uh, you know, also Luna didn't move, so Flamex was just like, all right, I'm pulling the trigger. Right then and there, Flamex got the hit that they needed, and they are up 2-0, Luna. Really in the uh, in the hot seat right now. You know, I, I bet that they do want to be the first person to win two heat wave PS4 and PC, but seemingly running to a wall here in the form of first Usero, and now Flamex coming up advantageous to this run back thus far. Needs a reverse sweep in order to make that uh, double tournament dream come true. Alright, we're looking like the more stable Oki structure here. The Flame X getting the shield A. The right read there. Oh, a little too trigger happy. Yeah, and Luna gonna be capitalizing accordingly off of that. Flame X. Momentum still kind of on their side. Uh. Luna with the tall mountain to climb here at the moment. Hasn't been getting a lot of mileage off the uh L Luna been getting less of like the snowball centric, like Oki, you know t uh what am I trying to say? <laughs> it's been less about the Oki and more about the neutral here for Luna in some of these like ladder matches. Yes, it has been. And I mean, if you wanna talk about neutral, Flame X that's great neutral, so to go toe-toe -to with him kind of shows the strength that Luna has, even in neutral. But here, Flame X able to close out the round. This is this is match point. Yeah. Do or die here for Luna. But again, stocked up, wanna hit. Gonna do a lot of damage. Oh my!
my gosh, a big commit there from Flame X to run up on the pillars and shield, hoping for a detonation, but Luna not finding the biggest punish in the world. Kind of scrambling the two of them here at the moment. Luna still locked and loaded on those resources. Full magic circuit. But as he eats an IED boot to the face, Flame X will get quarter positioning off of this. This is pivotal. What do we have here on the Okie Dokes? The throw gets the magic circuit built. Luna escapes the corner, but at what cost? Both of them shielding. Detonates off screen. The shield B, and there it is! Gets the confirmation out the earth! Flame X, one, two, three, getting the 3-0 victory over Luna in the run back, and we'll be moving into grand finals. What an adaptation there from Flame. What a response in relation to what we saw on the winner's side of the bracket, and what a loser's run here for Flame X, one, two, three, with this Roa. My gosh! Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, I thought the I thought the room died. I was like, <laughs> wait, why now? <laughs> but yeah, strong showing from Luna. Still loving the DA Noel. Really brought that character out from kind of where it was from the beginning. Yeah, Flame X one two three Roa also considered a very strong character, a very anti-meta character. Um, kind of be able to play his his own game and a strong neutral in his own right. But yeah, we are here, Grand Finals. Here we go, Yusuro in winner side, going up against Flame X123 coming from loser side. I don't think Yusuro has won a heat wave before, I want to say. Neither of these players have, so it will be interesting crowning a new PC champion this time around. Yes, indeed. <laughs> All right, Flamex getting things started with the momentum off the knockdown, just carrying. And I mean, I think momentum is really the name of the game here when it comes to like Flame X's approach here, because like Flame X's loser side run, they're currently like I don't know, like nine games uncontested or something. Like they've had an absolute insane run. So, uh, seems to be a momentum heavy player. And I mean, going to the grand final side, Yusuf on winner side, just keep the momentum train going as they take that round one. Fatal counter off the JC here for Flame X to get things started yet again. Yusuro having that full bar. How will they utilize? Okay, yeah, just go for the wake up buttons this time around. But couldn't quite get too much off of it. But the elbow room. Gonna be closing the gap, closing the space, and getting a knockdown for it as well. And this should be dead. It's just a matter of how much meter the user wants to spin. Getting it to where they only need to spend the uh, one bar to fire back. Alright, both players. Very similar resources here. Goes for the invul DP. Couldn't quite find it right at the round stop, but no punish. Oh my gosh, out the err yet again, there for Flamex 1, 2, 3, but couldn't get the confirm fully. But still going to be able to find some momentum off the straight hit. Back to the corner we go yet again. Flame stagger pressure for days. What a clutch moon drive reversal there from Yusuro to make the button whiff. Going to be capitalizing coast to coast conversion. Never mind, side swap. Yo. Okay, this could be the big hit for Flame. Not going for the arc drive finish, actually going for a moon drive into double super type of combo. Not quite enough to kill Yusuro there, and Yusuro giving a second chance. 
Oh my gosh, that could be it. Yeah, Yushiro able to pick up that combo. And uh, goes up 1-0 in the Grand Finals. Yeah, I felt like that... Um, I don't know. I, you know, I'm not too the the most keen on Roa meter dump, but it felt like that arc drive could have been it. It should uh, Flamex route into it, but um, off the double super it wasn't quite enough to get the job done. Leaving uh, arc available to make the comeback, and Yusro was able to make it happen. Yusro is on winner's side, so that's one game down, two to go. If they're going to be taking this heat with PC, another route on DP. I don't know what's the meaning of those. <laughs> this time it does get punished. Yusuro just wants to get things started, but instead, gets the full punish. Yeah, Flamex. Strong start. Corner combo. Still got Moon Drive active. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be it. I mean, you know scare, I know scare, just do DP again. Indeed, indeed. No! <laughs> <laughs> nah, Alright. It would've worked, though. It would've. Play Max. Throw Oki. Show DC. You start getting the hit. Has a lot of meter. I imagine it's just gonna use the one. Oh! All right, fatal counter. Play next, committed to that stand shield. Possibly expecting some type of uh, safe jump or so. Again, maybe trying to you know recreate it. But play next, just opting to block this time around. But the pressure, just getting the best of them. As Yusuro fires back yet again, this is dangerous territory. Flamex does not want to go down two games in this grand final, despite all the work that they've done to get to this point in the first. <laughs> Why? He wasn't punished, it's fine. Oh man. Okay, I don't think any more meter spent here. Nice tech. Instant BC. Guess the punish. A lot of meter again. Probably just gonna be the one. Into the Oki. Yeah, no moon drive for Flame X, so this is kind of the time to go wild. Oh my gosh, like the latest timing possible for the ending of that Rekka. Straight into the Super Yusuro, finding the 2A2. This is really dangerous territory for Flame X. Moon drive active, yes. Oh my! Oh. The Moon Drive DP, baby! Double interval on the reversal options is how I like it, says Yusuro. As you show us two games up in Grand Finals from winner's side, one game away from taking Heatwave PC6 Flame X123 needs a reverse sweep in order to stay in it. Flame X taking some time, thinking about it. Thinking about that round start DP gambit which one? <laughs> oh, the gambit yeah 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 <laughs> i'm like man <laughs> you has been running so many of those it's been nuts nah he's not gonna do it again never again okay oh my gosh oh. so far Oh, doesn't punish the air shield. That was the longest hang time ever. Nice DP, not letting that rock again. Yeah, rightfully so. <laughs> oh, <wh> what? <laughs> okay. And then wake up buttons afterwards. All right. I would be mad. <laughs> <laughs> I would. I would. I would be upset. I'd be saying some words right now. <laughs> You Sarah feeling some sort of way, but this these feels are making him get the win so far. Yeah, this is enough to kill. Should be, yeah. Only three C afterwards. Has to spend the two bars for it, but it works out. Yeah, I was wondering if he's gonna have to spend the three bars, but yeah, two bars just enough. Not sure what Flame X thought about, but uh, currently working out for him. Okay, Flame X. Okay, IAD with the fatal counter. 
this could be the game that they're looking for, and they find it. Not going to be 3 0 in this grand finals. Has it 2 1, and uh, I mean, the reverse sweep still necessary for Flamex in order to stay in this set, in this tournament, in this bracket. But doesn't look undoable, especially with a game like that that was very, very solid responsive for Flamex. But yeah, there's been a, uh, it was a very interesting kind of shift from Yusuro though, like, there's a lot of uh, weird actions that they were doing in the neutral game. So many shields, just uh, really kind of switching up the pace of the momentum and everything, when it maybe wasn't necessary. Like, uh, the way that they've been playing with the rushdown and, like, the IEDJCs and everything, um, is what got them here in the first place. So, see if they're gonna look for that momentum yet again, this time piling on the rushdown, it's the quarter we go. Yeah, this time forces Flamex to spend the meter on just a stagger pressure, which is so good. Shield Wars! I thought Yusuro was going to get the grab, but he got grabbed instead. Yeah, delayed it a little bit too much, but still able to find the 2A. Yusuro on tournament point. Needs one more round in order to make it happen, see if Flamex has anything left in the tank. Yo, commits oh, to one of those crazy DPs. This one does get punished. Yusuro just having a tough time closing, it looks like. Shield BC to get things started. Yusuro's first initial big hits off this round. Goes for the double two way. Nothing off the shield. Flame X fighting the proper opportunity to counter poke, but no full finish on that combo. Uh huh. Okay. Oh! <laughs> 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 no! Yo! Flamex said, I dare you to move! And as soon as you throw in an action, just had the shield ready. That's the power of rollback netcode, baby! Oh my god! <laughs> wow. Good stuff. But right now, Yusuro gets the corner, has a lot of meter to play with, gets to throw. It's gonna be next touch after this Oki setup. No moon drive either. This is a scary situation. Just taking all this pressure. Stagger again. Oh, oh this should be it. Moon drive activation. Didn't oh, have no. the. Oh my. No way. No way. No way. He's just gonna sit there, right? He just has to. You're crazy. I get it though. I understand. Maybe, maybe he would not have been ready for it. But what a way to go. Arc drive cancel. And Yusuro will be able to take Heat Wave 6 PC Edition with the arc, putting arc on the board here at Heat Wave. Fantastic stuff and a solid run. Good stuff to uh, Flame X as well, man. Like, my gosh, that loser's run was definitely something else, but Yusuro just proving once and for all that if he loses, it's because he wasn't playing on PC. <laughs> <laughs> True. He 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 won that. He won it just so we could say that basically, for PS4. Basically, but no solid stuff to Yusuro doing it. Uh round out of the top floor. We had B Boy Sonic X in fourth, Lunar in third, uh Flame X one, two, three in second, and Yusuro taking their first heat wave. Congratulations to them. Congratulations to Lunar for taking PS4 earlier. And uh, thank you all to everybody who came out, you know, to play. PC was a nice bracket here. Some new faces. If you came here for the first time, hope to see you again. Same for PS4. There's a couple new faces there as well. And, uh, you know, it's always great putting these on for y'all. Uh, Heat Wave online tournaments. This is the bi-weekly series. On Saturday this time around, but that is not the norm around here. We are usually on Sundays, and as we announced earlier, the next one is going to be on a Sunday. March 13th is when the next one will be. Uh, so we hope to see you all join uh, for the Heat Wave that's happening then. Uh, we will get that Smash GG page up soon. As well for the one that's happening on uh, March 12th. That one is not online. It's actually offline. Going to be happen in Riverside Game Lab in Riverside, California, where we'll have a multiple type of Lumina and Grand Blue Fantasy Versus tournament for you all. So if you're able to come out, be sure to uh, head out. We would love to see you. Uh, but at least watch, because the offline tournaments for both those games are definitely um, 
super fun, super fun. So we're looking forward to being back in the swing of things, coming off of a little bit of uh, break in February because we're quite stacked with a lot of things that we're doing. But we do have bi-weekly multiple type of media action for you all. Hope to see you, uh, whether it be online or offline. Be sure to follow us here on Twitch for all the updates. Uh, follow us on Twitter uh, for announcements as well. And join the Discord, you know, if you, as I was saying earlier, not even... Don't join Discord if you want to run the tournaments and know the tournament updates, but also if you just want to match make, there are a ton of multiple players in this freaking Discord, dude. Like, um, yeah, just hit somebody up, get some games. But um, yeah, this has been a great night, and uh, thank thank you all for the support. Yeah, thank you everyone. I'm gonna close this out. Hope you had a had a great bracket, and yeah, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. See ya. See ya.